Good day, beautiful people, greeting a wonderful name of our Lord Jesus Christ. And may you have a blessed day. God is with us and we are heard. He hears our prayers. And I am going to continue because I'm in a kind of a rush. But um, identity in Christ, we base this Bible study on 2 Corinthians 5, 17, being a new creation within God, inner healing. This is part 6C, still being heard. Um, let's just have a quick read. Acts uh, 13. In You know I read from only the King James Bible. So Acts 13. I'm going to use my other hand. Acts 13 from verse 44 onwards. And the next Sabbath... They came almost the whole city together to hear the word of God. But when the Jews saw the multitudes, they were filled with envy and spake against those things which were sp spoken by Paul, contradicting, contradicting and blasph blaspheming. Then Paul and Barnabas waxed bold and said it was necessary that the word of God should first have been spoken to you. But seeing ye, put it from you, and judge yourselves unworthy of everlasting life. Lo, we turn to the Gentiles. For so hath the Lord commanded us, saying, I have set thee, remember this one, to be a light of the Gentiles, that thou sh shouldest be for salvation unto the ends of the earth. And when the Gentiles heard this, they were glad and glorified the word of the Lord. And as many, many as ordained to eternal life believed. Go study that. And the word of the Lord was published throughout all the region. But the Jews stirred up the devout and honorable woman and men and the chief men of the city and raised persecution against Paul and Barnabas and expelled them out of their coasts. But they shook off the dust of their feet against them and came unto Iconium. And the disciples were filled with joy and with the Holy Spirit. You know, sometimes we go through things and we go through life uh, being heard. We don't understand everything that's going on. And things are being said. And people want to get you down. No. We say no. Part of inner healing is understanding that God knows you. And God hears you. There's only one God. Our God creator of heaven and life and heaven of and earth and psalm 71 is saying in you O lord do i put my trust and confident i take my refuge in you my god let me never be put to shame and people are trying but god hears us we are his children, our heavenly father. Joshua 1 verse 9 again, I mentioned that before. Be strong and courageous, and the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Remember that. I'm talking hard and harsh because I know things are going on. And jealousy is disgusting. It is a form of manipulation it is a form of undermining and we are trying to help others the best that we can do in what we do and who we are so just be sure that you walk with god and not against him remember that i greet you i bless your day and let's keep on praying Thank you for all of those who actually intercede and who keep up, who stay strong 
in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. And for those who stand against us, you know where you're heading. Hard word, I know. It's a tough one. But the Lord hears us. Our God, Jesus Christ. And I bless you. And let's keep on praying and interceding for all of those who are struggling at this moment. Amen.